If you have been following this channel for a while, you have seen me edit a lot of long exposure landscape photos. In this video, I'll show you how to shoot them yourself. Conditions The first thing to look out for are the right conditions. Creating a long exposure of a cloudless sky is pointless, since there is no motion to capture. You want to have some clouds up there. Ideally, they are already moving fast and have a lot of structure. If the blue sky comes through holes in the cloud cover, that can look awesome as well, especially during sunset or sunrise. 100% cloud coverage with no structure is equally bad as a cloudless sky by the way. Composition I try to place multiple moving objects like clouds or waves against one static object. The static object can be anything, from a piece of wood to a concrete structure or my personal favorite, a jetty. While in the lower two thirds of the image the static object is pretty much the main focus, the upper one third will usually be filled with the sky. Keep in mind, in camera the composition might be half foreground, half sky for me so I can fix skewed vertical lines later in post without losing too much of the sky. Getting the shot Since we are going to use very long shutter speeds, a stable standing tripod is a must to get sharp images. Once I frame the scene in camera, it's time to worry about the settings. First, I dial in whatever settings I need to get a good looking histogram, without overexposure and without too much underexposure. You can use whatever shutter speed, aperture or ISO you want, as we have to change those settings after the next step anyway. Once the exposure is balanced, I then attach a strong ND filter on the lens. This filter comes with different strengths and will allow you to use extremely long shutter speeds without overexposing. Besides the tripod, this is your most important piece of equipment for those kinds of images. The settings I dialed in previously now must be adjusted, so I don't get a way underexposed photo. For this purpose, I use the PhotoPulse app, which helps me to quickly convert the original settings to the new settings with the ND filter strength considered. You don't necessarily need an app for that, it just gives you more precise results much faster. Then with the help of the app I'm aiming for an exposure length of around 2-4 to four minutes depending on how fast the clouds are moving and adjust aperture and ISO accordingly. And this is how I get my long exposure shots.